Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DeFi tutorial. Today, we're gonna dive into how to find true market leaders, stocks that can double, triple, or do even more than that in a strong bull market. And we're gonna be covering basically four different screens that you can use to find these stocks. And there's one specifically for momentum swing traders. There's one specifically for traders who work full time. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. And I think you guys will really dig this. Um, overall, if you do enjoy this video, please go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out DFU and our special offer down below if you haven't heard about us just before. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. And first things first, we're gonna start with a screen designed specifically for swing traders, stocks that can double, triple in just a short amount of time. And let's go ahead and dive right in. This is the Momentum Leaders screen. And opening up the criteria, it's pretty simple actually. We've got a dollar volume liquidity requirement of over 5 million on average a day. That just gets rid of the very small speculative, uh, you know, dollar price stocks uh, to try to you know add a little bit of quality on top of this we've got a market cap filter of over a billion again to get rid of really those very small extremely volatile stuff uh, we've got a filter to remove etfs and then the main requirement here is either a one month absolute strength rating of over 95 or a three month absolute strength rating of over 95 and absolute strength is just an unweighted measure of looking at all stocks in our database and seeing what are the strongest over these two periods. So either stocks showing up on this list are gonna be very strong over the past month or over the past three months. And let's take a look at a few of the results. So sorting by absolute strength rating and going through these names, we can see we've got Acro here, recent huge gap up. So these are the type of names that we're gonna be seeing. High momentum, high highly volatile names that can go on tremendous moves. And they're often gonna show up in this screen during and at the beginning of these major moves. Him showed up very early on back in this area before this explosive move from the base breakout. That's how I actually found about it, Hims, and watched it right here in this spot here. Uh, Growl also has been a tremendous mover from this list, uh, showed up many times during here, and then you're looking for tight swing trade type entries from range pivots, oops reversals, that type of thing and these stocks can really go. You've also got a few kind of buyouts, so be on the lookout for that. We'll actually be introducing logic to remove these from uh, these type of screens. SMCI, strong move off the bottom. So you can kind of see um, the caliber of stocks that will be coming through the screen. Very strong momentum moves that have you know tremendous possibilities for swing trades, not, not so much for position traders or people who want to be a little bit more relaxed with their trading and focus on stocks that you know can make moves but over duration versus momentum. Uh, so that's kind of a quick run through of the momentum leader screen. Again, really well suited for swing traders and high momentum type stocks, uh, hence the name. All right, the second screen I wanted to go through uh, was actually another. Uh, one that's really well suited for swing traders, but also uh, can be very well suited for position traders as well. And this is basically a preset, the gaps and strong move screen. This basically looks for stocks that on that day are either gapping up or making a strong breakout type move. And this can be something to key in on to find rotation, to find uh, stocks that are just breaking out bases and then look for some type of pullback entry. Uh, for instance, BABA is showing it up today um, as this is more an exhaustive move, gap up, uh, indecision type bar. We'll see if it reverses lower or continues on with this kind of parabolic move. But it also showed up on the screen right in this area before this pullback consolidation entry. So again, with any stock that shows up on a screen, you want to consider the overall context, the setup you're applying to it, and all screens are a way to kind of funnel out the noise and really focus on prime opportunities. So Baba was a better opportunity back in here. And the purpose of this screen, as I mentioned, is to get these names that have high potential on your radar before they go ahead and form a setup. So you want to add these names to a watch list, review them regularly, and then look for a 21 EMA pullback, a flag breakout, uh, a cup and handle, whatever your setup that you like to apply is, this is just a way to source different ideas. BAX, you can see gapping up, this is kind of overall context, not, not something I would personally be interested in, but maybe you like to bottom fish down here below the 200 day, and we are seeing a little bit of momentum move uh, recently, uh, looks like on earnings. This one as well, Billy, uh, also similar action, um, and again, it was showing up on this back in here, BMRN, another gap up. So again, this is just showing strong moves or gap ups on volume. And we've got CWAN, 
uh, DBRG, GDS, nice action here, Hass, JD. And this also gives you a sense of kind of what's working in the market as well. Unity software, this one is interesting, the highest volume ever. And uh, you can see it's well below all time highs, got a lot of overhead supply, but this is an edge that I'm particularly interested in. So this would be one that I would add to my uh, watch list and see if there's a setup that develops, maybe a tight range or just fall through up after the strong momentum move on high volume. And whenever a name shows up on this list, I always like to take a look at the catalyst. You can see a lot of these were recent earnings. Uh, that's kind of what drove these moves. Um, so I always want to consider, you know, what's driving the breakout? Is there any news associated with it? And is that news likely to contribute to a trend or is it just a flash in the pan type move? So that's the second screen that is useful for both swing traders and day traders, uh, as well as position traders uh, to, as the potential start a of a move. Uh, the next one is more suited towards uh, position traders and longer term uh, you know, active investors. So this is the liquid leader screen. Uh, this is perfect for traders that um, you know, don't want to you know, deal with a lot of the really speculative stuff. They want to stick with stuff that can really trend if they get going. And this is the liquid leader screen. And actually, very quickly, I do want to show the criteria for this gap up. It is a preset, but basically it's basically looking for a gap of over the 5% or a percent change today of over 10%. That's the heart of this screen right here. All right, so moving back over to the liquid leader screen, this is for traders, again, who are more position traders or longer term active investors. These are names that are pretty liquid that can trend nicely, but can also make some decent moves. And opening up their criteria, we're looking for a dollar volume of over 100 million, a last price over $20, so a pretty liquid name and either a strong one month or three month um, absolute strength rating. You can see we draw down uh, these metrics a little bit compared to the momentum leaders so these are still names that you know can move pretty fast um, but are a lot more liquid so let's go ahead and run through some of the results and let's go ahead and sort by uh, the one month as again and you can see a few of these names are showing up on multiple lists hymns smci uh, tem uh, but for the most part you're going to get names like bros pltr affirm um, app as well. So names that can trend nicely and make strong moves and are very liquid and, you know, are pretty easy and obey those different moving averages when they are in a trend. So this is a great growth stock screen for position traders as well as more active investors. All right. So the last screen I want to go through is one I've talked about many times before. It is the DFU leader screen. And this is kind of uh, the, the monster of all these screens. It kind of combines a lot of criteria based on fundamental growth, um, momentum, absolute strength, all of that. If you open up the uh, criteria, there's a lot of different components here. Um, basically, it's combining everything into one and trying to find, you know, the best of the best growth stock momentum opportunities. And this is kind of the screen that if I only could run one every single day, this would be the one I use. And basically every leader that makes strong moves, 100%, 200%, 300% show, shows up on the screen pretty earlier in their trends and throughout their extended moves, uh, you know, allowing you to get it on your radar and look for those low risk entry points and setups. Um, and basically, you know, day to day, this is kind of my routine. I clear the sorting. The first, the first sort I do is by percent change today, and I'm looking for new merchandise, so names that are gapping up and acting really well, similar to how I use the gap ups and strong move screen. So again, Unity is also showing up on this name, uh, on the screen here, and I will kind of take note of names that show up on this screen as well as this screen, and kind of that adds a little bit of evidence that you know I may want to pay more attention to that name. Uh, but basically, I run through and see what moved really strongly today. Uh, are there any kind of common themes among among the names that acted really well? For instance, we've got uh, some China related names, Billy and Baba here as well. Um, and that's just kind of a way to analyze rotation as well as just kind of see where the puck is uh, is going. Uh, the next thing that I do is I clear that sorting and sort by RMV lowest to highest. And then I'm looking for tight ranges within the context of strong overall setup. So if we go down, I already did this today and there wasn't too much of note here um, higher up. Uh, but, you know, when we get down here, we've got MNDY, um, you know, setting up. These are post gap type setups. So these would be of interest. Uh, Roku as well. Uh, so basically, I'm looking for tight ranges or the potential for reversals and breakouts higher. So I just kind of go through and see what names are setting up and are potentially primed for the next day, either with an upside reversal or inside day. 
Uh, so that's a quick run through of how I use this list. Uh, CPNG is a good you know, example. We've got to move up the right hand side of the base and maybe it needs a few more days to flag out, but this would be a name that I'd add to my watch list and keep an eye on uh, because we do have a nice sign of power. And then I'm watching for a flag back into the moving averages like it's set up back in this area. Uh, so hopefully this video has been helpful. Again, there's been a little bit of everything uh, for those momentum swing traders, as well as you know the more uh, liquid leaders that position traders and active investors like to focus on. And the DFU leader screen is kind of a, a mixture of everything. Whatever your style is, this would be a great idea sourcing and a great screen to add to your routine. So thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care, bye.